LA, how you doing, man? I'm a huge fan. It's good to see you. I've been following sure. your career for a long time as sure. a wrestling fan. What do you think is the difference maker in your career lately? You know, like, we've been following it, and lately, in the past few years, we really start to see your your star, people to see your, you know, what kind of star you are. What yeah. was the thing, the point where everything started to change? Uh, the point that everything started to change was actually getting a shot to be on a big stage. Uh, just be in front of the WWE audience. Um, I don't mean to sound um, arrogant or anything like that, but I, I knew I had something a long time ago, at least in the last five, six, maybe even 10 years. Um, but just cracking through that barrier to get on that stage has been really the, the, the biggest challenge. So once I knew all I needed to do was get there, and once I could get there, I knew that I could get the proper response. Yeah. And so now being there, I, I don't think anything has necessarily changed so much as me just having that opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Do you still get nervous? Because you're so good on the mic, but do you just get nervous before you go out? And do you have any certain thing in your strategy? Like before you go out, how much is it rehearsed? How much is in your head? Oh. And also, what do you like? What's your day, you know, before you do a taping? What's yeah. you, what do you do right before? Uh, well, so uh, the first question first uh, nerves. <laughs> I feel like if you don't have butterflies before you go out there, you're probably not that into it anyway. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't know a single person who doesn't have butterflies before they go out there. So, I mean, how do you not? Uh, but at the same time, once I hit that curtain, it's all gone. Yeah. It's, it's a whole different game because then it's like, now it's all. Um, but as far as like... Uh, like what's your routine? Taping wise, do you have a regular routine? <laughs> It depends on the day, but I mean, it also depends where we are. Because I mean, if you're on the West Coast, obviously it's live TV, so we got to be there earlier than we would on the East Coast. Yeah. So that kind of limits the rest of the day. Uh, but usually I'll try and get up, get some breakfast, go to the gym, then, you know, show up to the arena by the time I need to. Uh, and as far as me going out to the ring and doing my thing, uh, I have a general roadmap and an idea of where I need to go. Uh, but I don't like to. I don't like to rehearse. I don't like to. I don't like to like walk through things or talk through things too much because it doesn't feel very authentic to me. Yeah. So like I, I want I want the first reaction to be real. I don't want anybody to know what I'm gonna say. I don't even sometimes know what I'm gonna say because sometimes I need to actually like feel the situation, listen to the people, listen to whoever I might be out there with and talking to. And again, as long as I have the general roadmap and there's an idea like this is the direction we're going in, whatever it is. Um, obviously people see a lot of talent in you. You know, we see how good you're on the mic. Appreciate that. You know, we see, even down the path, maybe you could be the next The Rock, John Cena. And I say that, and, and I know that's big shoes to fill, but yeah. we, I think a lot of people see the charisma in you. Do you think that maybe acting is gonna be in your future in the next? Is that uh, something that interests you or trying to get into Well, that? sure. I mean, I, I've, I've done some, some commercials and, and yeah. little things here and there. Nothing, nothing major yet. Uh, but sure, I mean, if, if that opportunity presented itself and it was it was the right opportunity, I, I'd be open to that for sure. Um, and, and hey, look, I don't beat my body up to do it, so who knows? We'll, we'll see what happens down the road. Who's the coolest person that's been in your DMs? Oh boy. Uh, well, I can't remember her name, no, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> um, geez. There was a lot, uh, especially in the last few years. But I mean, considering, you know what? I'll say pre-WWE, uh, Steve Austin. That's pretty uh, cool. Because even before I got to WWE, uh, I ended up going on his podcast. And I guess there was a little bit of buzz for the show that I was doing before that. So he ended up, since I was living in LA and he was in LA at the time, he had me come in. So that, that was kind of a cool little surprise. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Last, I know you're a big fan of Bojangles. What's your go-to meal at Bojangles? <laughs> That is, uh, that is a strange pull, because uh, I'm not sure that I've ever even been to Bojangles. Uh, uh, you know what? I would love to try Bojangles, though, because I see them everywhere. I've heard people rave about them. Uh, I, I need to actually go try it and just see what the chicken's all about. So I, I don't have a favorite, but I'd like to go there and find a favorite. I love my friend. Good to see him. A huge yes, fan, buddy. Appreciate it.